Hey, what's up, guys? It's, um, you know, me. Um, it took me a while to find a place to do this, and it took me some time to find a reason to make this video. And I have exactly done that. I have found a reason why I am making this video right now. The title is right. Nobody wants me around and I'm a failure. Let me explain. My adopted family, um, Shanice, um, Jody, Derek, Billy, the Schroders, all of them. I know I made some bad comments about some of them, but before I even started doing that, they never wanted me around. They never liked me. They were always annoyed by me. And I just... I just don't understand if all these people don't want me around. Why did Radine adopt me in the first place? And it gives me another question. If Christine didn't want me, why did she have sex with Jamie and then make me if she didn't want me? My biological brothers. I understand it was, today was the first day that we've ever met, but I at least expected them to get give me some attention. But they didn't do shit. All they did was play basketball with me for like a couple minutes or like an hour or two, and then and then they just were on their phones, on their tablets, talking about video games and shit, and forgot I even existed. My girlfriend and her family can't stand me because of my depressing, my depression, my um, anxiety, my sensitivity, all of that shit. Nope. Nobody... Not people even at my job don't want me around. Even though it doesn't really matter what they think, but I don't understand why are people telling me to stay alive? I'm not saying I'm gonna do anything, so don't get your worries up in a bunch. But I just don't understand why would people want me to be alive if nobody wants me around? It makes no sense. It really makes no sense. Why didn't y'all just let me kill myself before? Then y'all wouldn't have to deal with me anymore, and then y'all could be happy. Everyone's over here saying, Oh no, if you died or killed yourself, Zach, I'd be sad, I'd be heartbroken, I wouldn't know what to do with my life. Nice lie. Everyone knows they'd be better off without me on this earth. Even me. Even I know I'd be better off with off this earth, but I'm not going to do anything about that. Maybe I should just accept that fact. That no one likes me anymore, no one loves me anymore, no one cares about me anymore. There's people that always have problems with me, there's people that have a problem with who I am as a person. There's people who pick on me, who judge me, who criticize me, who pretty much bully me. Like...
Why do I even belong here? Why, ain't, why am I even here on this earth? Everyone wants beef with me. Everyone wants to not speak to me, look at me, or even think about me, or even hang out with me. I got one friend I can hang out with, and that's Karan, aka Kenneth, aka Floyd, a, you know. He's like the only true friend I can hang out with and talk to. Well, not talk to, but I can hang out with. And family-wise, I'm alone. Because my girlfriend, I feel, doesn't want me around because I'm too depressed and I'm too sensitive and I'm too, like, I get her annoyed too much. That's why I feel like she's separating herself from me. Because I am just annoying her with all my bullshit. And I told her I wasn't going to do it anymore. I didn't do it today. Ever since last night, I haven't done it today. I haven't done it at all today, and I'm going to keep this train up. I'm going to keep being in the same emotional state. I'm not going to talk as much. I'm not going to do anything to piss her off or annoy her. And she's probably just going to separate herself even more from me. But it's fine, though, because... Everyone comes, everyone goes. I just... I just can't have a good life. People are gonna say, oh, it's cause you're making it not a good. You're making this, you're doing, I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting here, standing here, trying to see who's actually in my life and who isn't. I am not making anything, nothing. It's, it's the people, it's, it's everyone in my life. They're the ones abandoning me. You, you're, you're trying to tell me that I'm the reason why Christine gave me up for adoption? Are you trying to tell me I'm the reason why my family doesn't speak, my adopted family don't speak to me no more? Are you trying to tell me that I'm the reason why my biological brothers even give a fuck about me? You're saying I'm the reason for all of that? That's everyone's problem. They blame it on me. They blame everything on me. But I did nothing wrong. I'm trying to be a better version of myself. I'm trying to be a better person. But no one wants to see it. And people still want to blame me for shit. People still want to come at me. People still want to talk shit. So I figured I'd go for a walk and make this video for you guys. Now on to why I'm a failure. I failed everyone who's ever entered my life. Let's start from the beginning, all the way in the beginning. I failed Christine and Jamie by being born. I was basically a mistake to them. And that brought me to Ray D, which I failed her because all I did was get her mad. All I did was make her cough up blood. All I did was ruin her life. I failed Savannah, that's why she doesn't fucking speak to me. That's why she doesn't like me anymore. She prefers my girlfriend over me. I failed Jasmine, that's why she chose her fucking boyfriend over me. Her best friend that she's known since kindergarten. That's like 13 years, that's like 14, 15 years of a friendship just ruined because of me. All of this, all that was because I was born. Emily, Emily Schroeder, she doesn't speak to me anymore because of me. Because of the guy I've become. I failed Ray Dean. I failed Teresa. I failed Shanice. I failed Chris. I failed Keith. I failed Jody. I failed, I failed Billy. I failed, I failed Pat. I failed Isaiah, I failed Derek, I failed Nairobi, I failed Aaliyah, and I failed their mom, Aunt Kim. I failed Tavana, I failed her mother, I failed her sister, I failed all of her family members and friends. I failed everyone at work, I failed everyone. I even failed myself. I can't do anything right. 
I can't do anything but one thing. Well, three things. I can design, I can edit photos and videos. I can get people to not like me and hate my guts. And I annoy people and I piss people off, which is probably kind of the same thing. I'm 21 years old. I failed Ivana because I cheated. And then I planned with the girl. I planned some shit with the girl like the following week. After me and Tay broke up that. And she told me that upset her. That broke her the most and when I cheated. And then that got her family to hate my guts, which they still do. And Tay even hates my guts a little. I failed everyone who's ever entered my life. So if you ever plan on entering my life, either prepare yourself or go away now because you're just gonna get treated the way everyone else is treated. I, I just, According to everyone, I've never done anything good to anyone. I've never done anything right. I've never made anyone happy. I've never succeeded helping anyone. I've never succeeded with anything. I just sat there and failed. Failed, failed, failed. That's all I fucking did. Maybe that's why they don't want me around. Maybe the fact that I'm depressed or in the posts I make and the videos I make and the photos I take and the shit that I do. Maybe that's why people don't want me around. And if that's the case, then honestly, so be it. Because I'm done. I'm done trying to win people over. I'm done trying to keep people who don't want to stay. I'm done with it all. If you don't want to stay, then don't stay. Leave. I don't care. I'd rather be homeless and alone than... Than living in a house where everyone hates your guts and wants nothing to do with you. I don't belong here. I don't belong in Tavana's life. I don't belong in Jamie's life. I don't belong in Cheyenne's life. I don't belong in my brother's life. I don't belong in Pat's life. I don't belong anywhere except one place. And it's in a casket, in a grave. Again, I am not going to commit suicide, so don't worry about it. I'm just letting you know that's where I belong I just wish I can be better for everyone it's been your boy Zach take care